Hey guys, what's going on? You're probably finding as you're getting older, you don't have much time to spend playing golf. So I've taken up the hobby of playing virtual VR golf. So I'd like to give you a few tips and tricks that I find. So let's jump inside. Let's do this. Before we jump in, a word from our sponsor, Lavazza. Lavazza, which is Italian. No, just kidding, guys. This channel is actually not sponsored by anyone. I don't have any deals or sponsorship. It isn't even monetized. So if you guys want to help out and buy me a coffee, head over to buy me a coffee link. And yeah, I really appreciate it. It helps me motivate me, gives me a bit of caffeine. And I absolutely love my coffee. I drink it every day. So thanks, guys. Today we're going to play just a nine hole with another guy I found online uh, in America because obviously where he stays is really cold so a lot of the guys are playing now in the UK in America because it's super cold. It's really hot here in Australia but anyway you can practice before um, if you are new to the game it's probably a good idea to um, jump in and try and get used to the controller. Um, this controller itself is a one player, it's a one controller game so get used to it you can actually shape your shot you can either do a draw or a fade and you can put spin on it and you can actually move the direction of where the ball goes so this is quite handy with certain dog legs you can see this is a dog leg from right to left so it's good to you know put in a bit of a fade there so fade around the corner so there's also a discord community as you can see you can jump in and speak to the developers which is cool um, what what are we gonna uh, and recentering is very important as well because you don't want to whack your your you know your furniture when you're playing so you, it does actually need a bigger space for this game to play um, so right here you can see you can invite some of your friends that you played with previously I'm just going to select a normal round there's different things like a stable foot skins closest to the pin knockout so that's really cool um, in terms of the setup uh, we're just going to go front nine uh, and difficulty now the difficulty I would recommend just going a novice at this stage um, and then in terms of the other options I think that's all good so but the golf courses themselves actually you're required to purchase some of them which I find was quite strange and they're quite expensive like you can see that one's $22.99 Pebble Beach which I played previously also requires to be to paid for so it's, it could be a bit expensive if you if you do get addicted to this but let's create the game and see how it goes um when you first create the game you, you load it into this like practice swing setup so you can just practice a couple of the holes and then basically you're going to wait until people join you'll hear like a sound so you'll hear a sound now and someone will join it's a good idea just to get a feel for your clubs and the hole itself there we go so player just joined the room How you doing? Nice. So this guy just joined now. Are we just playing play? Yeah. Alright. Everyone in the game is really cool. Oh, I'm nice. Hey, I'm gonna give me a second because I'm gonna take my shit off, okay? So I might go. Might go. It's kind of... Right, it's quite back. a weird because it is second. real time. Everyone's doing stuff like drinking water. Or, so you hear weird sounds in the background when you're playing this game. Uh, which is sort of cool, makes it realistic. Oh, I'm chip there. Okay. So you can see here, we're just playing on this green. This obviously is novice, so... Thank you. Um, I'm gonna get a birdie. It's, it, I thought he was really, really good, screen. but it actually... Um, when me and in front, I had a question, what does... Oh, nice. Oh, flip. Oh, you're going off the backside. It's hit. So the chipping itself, I recommend just a low swing, yeah, not yeah. too overpowering, or just goes off the yeah, back. Uh, and it's just a nice little chip. Oh, and you can see it nice. run it's quite a bit as well, depending on how you set the greens. So you can set the greens as fast or slow. The fast greens are killing you, huh? So this one, you know, he's mentioning quite fast, but I actually set it to be... I'm used to fast greens. I don't like this medium. Cool setup. So you see here when I'm putting, there's actually a line that comes like that. So you can actually putt it on the line. If you get the line right in the hole, you don't normally get that with the upper setting. So this is just for like a beginner. It's probably handy to set this at straight. The other lines going around the green just shows you, you know, the direction. Behold it. Birdie. Nice. Birdie. Thank you. And then if you just follow that yellow line, you'll see now nah, hold it. So it's pretty good so each each got pretty good score nice. on that one 
Eh, chido. <clears throat> oh, oh, get it, get it, get in. Get in. Nice, buddy. Was that a buddy? No, that was Eagle. Eagle. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh man, look how close I am to the wall. Thank you. I'm 3.8 feet away from the wall. Oh. Oh, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> I think I did it. Yeah, you did. I was trying to catch the ball for you so then you can stop right beside me. I could have been a wide receiver. Nice. Or at the next hole. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, so that's going to roll straight into the sand with him. Come on, get with me. Get with me. Thank so you. So you both bunk it up here. Now the bunker, so with the club face there, when you're hitting your sand, you've got to actually come in at an angle and stand almost. Let me just grab my club. When you're coming in with the club, you've got to actually open your club face so it, it swings around. And then when it hits the ball, you got to go with a bit of momentum. So it pops up over and then it like pops over to the thing, but not too much. Or you over hit, over hit it on the other side of the, the hole. See, I love people like that. They don't want to leave me by myself and seeing. So this is an oh, example nice. here of how not to hit it. So obviously I hit it way too hard and I, it actually went over the green and over the hole. So this guy here is just going to come up now and just tell me exactly how to do it correctly. Hey, so wait, so look. With um, sand shots, with sand shots, instead of having you like just like hitting like you regularly do, yep, that's good advice. You can angle it backwards oh, a little bit oh. to have like oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can angle it kind of backwards to get more like a lit, like a loft, yep. so you don't oh, okay. go over and spin the it. Yeah, that's what yep. that's what I do. I angle it just a little bit, so then I can just not go too far, but not that's go good too advice. soft. Yeah. But the thing, but the thing is, when you do that, you have to add more power to it. Yeah, yeah, you got to add yeah, much more power to the shot. It. Hey guys, I hope that video was insightful and provided some value for you. Hit me up if you guys want to play a game of Golf Plus. I'm always keen to jump in and play a game with anyone. So uh, until next time, guys, keep well and enjoy your holidays and keep it real. See ya.